Working with Kathy Marston on Jane Eyre was a really special and um, I'd say eye-opening time for me. I really loved diving straight into the minute details of our acting. I really loved just soaking up her thought process and how the, the smallest movements, how she wanted that to read to the back of the theater. Some of the, of the stillest moments that she choreographed in the ballet were the most powerful. A real life lesson I got to take away that sometimes the, the littlest things are speak speak louder. Portraying the role of Rochester, um, and I said this to Kathy, I, I, was, I was having a tough time in the beginning. I was finding it quite tricky. I knew that I wanted to do him justice, having like read the book and seen the film. I kind of went about it in a way of having a casual charm, but still, you still had to have this arrogance. He was quite like a stubborn, moody, broody type. When he meets Jane, his mind just kind of gets lost and is so curious about this girl because her mind kind of matched his, but not in a, a threatening way. It just made him very, very curious about her. A lot of people who have read the book or seen the film say that Rochester is the baddie or the bad guy in this story. And I don't think Rochester made the, the best choices in his life. But in the end, I think the love that he has for Jane is, is very strong, very pure. Especially the last passage when he turns blind. And when she comes back, he truly realizes all his mistakes. It just melts his heart, his cold little heart, which um, was it's a, it was a really emotional part of the ballet for both Amanda and I. So I don't think he was really intentionally a bad guy. He just it was he was handled it all in the wrong ways. But this story is truly all about Jane and the struggles that she's went through, which couldn't be far greater than what he has gone through. But um, I don't think he's the worst guy, and I don't think he meant to hurt anyone.